So what's this? A, a reconstruction, really, of one of the naval batteries that would have existed at the time. And um, really, this little reconstruction is outlining the story of Corporal Said, a Turkish gunner who um, actually hand carried huge 24, 30 centimetre shells. They would have been roughly 200 kilograms each. He carried them up to the gun platform while the British and French ships were coming into the uh, into the straits below him. A guy tells a story about how the man then went and lived a very humble life in his village, supporting, you know, and working to create charcoal and firewood for bakeries and so on. But he's a national hero in Turkey today. So we're inside one of the bunkers during heavy firing from um, British and French shells. Some of the gunners may have came down here for support. I would imagine that this would have been also where a lot of the shells were kept so that they wouldn't be exploded by cannon fire. There's Sean having a look. Say hello, Sean. Imagine that those concrete walls are probably meters thick so that any shell that does land on the roof has very less chance of actually exploding any of the ammunition that's kept down below. And this is of course where another gun emplacement would have been but it does give us an opportunity to actually see what view over the straits these cannons or artillery pieces would have had and you can see that from here we can see a modern day steamer or not steamer sorry um, modern day cargo ship making its way through the straits from the direction of Russia towards the Mediterranean and you can see that this position fields a view over the entire Straits region.